Underhand presents Mr. Huh, chopping it up with the homies. Here we go. That's smooth. Yeah. So today, episode, man, I got another one of my little my little partners that growed up on me a little bit. Yes, sir. You want to introduce yourself? Man, uh, to every camera, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know which one to look in, but it's your boy Cozy outside, man. Most of y'all know me as AJ, around Nashville, born and raised. Uh, but Cozy Outside on IG, Facebook, anything. Y'all can find me on there, man. Hit me up. Yeah, man. So, I don't even know what we're going to talk about, man. We just going to chop it up, man. Whatever comes to mind. Already, I got something on mind. If you got something on your mind, you can go ahead and go. Yeah, I got something Tell on my mind. Tell us something this, about yourself or if you just got something to go. <laughs> For those of y'all watching look at, this. Look at my roof. Man, come on. You know. Come on, those of y'all watching this, this is exclusive. Because to be honest, that was you didn't you didn't tell me you had the whole intro song. Uh, yeah, so, I like that. Yeah, That's yeah. pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, sh- about myself, man. I, I guess I'm I'm excited to be here first and foremost. This is this man inspires me every day. You inspire me, and um, I'm just happy to you know engage with y'all. You know, I feel like all of us out here in Nashville, everybody's just like looking at this city like it could be LA, could be Vegas. Kind of could be New York, who knows? But, you know, this city just got so much going on. We need people doing this right here. Mm-hmm. Just because, you know, everybody's strangers. There's yeah. so many of us. Man, there's only, you know, a lot of people, a lot a lot of people, man, they uh, look at everybody as competition. I've said it in another podcast before. That's it's, very true. Is people need to collab instead of yeah. compete more yeah uplift each other you know that's the number one thing is just like um but everybody don't want to don't want to get jumped in the race <laughs> you know what I'm saying? right right man exactly. if i get if i get my little homie you know the game now he's gonna have a game and now i ain't gonna be nothing no more no and then, that's how they, that's how a lot of people think though well yeah because a lot of people are in the underballing situation it's more so what can i get it's a benefit plan yeah. it's literally a benefits plan it's like what can i get out of this yeah. and in reality it's like how can i contribute to make this thing happen for us mm-hmm. so that's kind of how i look at any investment or anything that i'm gonna put my time into i'm like man you know what who can i bring in that's gonna be like-minded they may not have all the same ideas yeah. but it's like if they're like-minded enough and they see from here because guess what like i said earlier most people look at everything and it's just like oh i want to be there when it happens yeah man i want you here right now yeah. You know, and uh, and that's the thing. Like you said, nobody wants to be one up, and a lot of people cut you off when you can't benefit no more. You know, even oh. even when I hit you up, I was like, "Hey, man, you want to come on? Come on, shop it up with me." And then I don't know how many curveballs came <laughs> and this and that. And I was like, "Man, you know what? I'm about tired of dealing with him." And then, mm-hmm. I, then I got to thinking, "No, man, somebody's trying to not let him come over here." Yep, absolutely. Let, let God let God work real quick. Absolutely, let him work because the devil. Shout out to the Lord. Because the devil's trying to block you from coming over here, man. Yeah. So. That's because, man, it's 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 like when you got a certain energy, I feel like that's one thing. Is My biggest thing is being about impact. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I feel like I strive every day to try to find some way to make impact. But that comes with its cost. Yeah. That comes with its cost, man. Yeah, it does. And um, I'm a single father. You know, I, mm-hmm. I I have a girlfriend, but it's like I'm raising my daughter by myself. You know, T, she's five now. Yeah. It's it's been it's been crazy. But when I say that, every day I'm learning something new, and it's just like, even today, this is my first time bringing my child on the podcast. Yeah, so I gotta yeah, learn. You, yeah, you're gonna hear. <laughs> You might hear in the background, but yeah, y'all might see me do a, a couple little dad looks here and there. But y'all know what it is. If you got kids, man, we love yeah. them to death. I'm just happy she's here. She's seeing something. Like oh this, man, she, you know, one podcast, man. My dogs done came down here. Oh really? Ba da 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 da. Knocking cameras over. Do what they gotta do. You feel me? They just want to be seen. That's any of us, you know. I keep looking at this camera because I know that this one. This is like, hey, yeah. how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I just love your setup, man. I I want to know. So, because you are not a mystery man, but you're a man of many mysteries. And I just think, what in the world did you sit and think of to to get this visual? You know, because this is captivating. Man, it's a long story. <laughs> but I had seen it, I think, on TikTok or something. Mm, TikTok. And, uh, and I was sitting there, and so I had started, like, Taking Delta Eight, mm. and uh, shout out Delta Eight, and I ended up getting too high. <laughs> is what happened, and I go, man, I'm about to put a cloud ceiling up, 
Mm-hmm. And this is going to be Cloud 8 Studios because I'm on Delta 8. Cloud 8. I like that, actually. Because it's one off because I don't know what's <laughs> going on right now. I'm not really happy. Right. I'm not on Cloud 9. Right. But then I was like, man, I don't think I want to tell people that story. Yeah. <laughs> but it's where the creative part of it came I think it's, it is really cool. And then, I mean. And then trial and error. A lot of people, when you say people don't want to hear the story, it's probably the people that don't know what Delta 8 is. Yeah. Because I actually support Delta 8. Yeah. I feel like Delta 8 is really cool. See, I I got to the point where, man, I do I do it on my days off. Mm-hmm. But I only do a little bit where I'm not. I don't get high. Yeah, exactly. But I get the focus and, and all that. And it's like, man, it's a lot better now. Sometimes yeah. I... I got to doing too much, and I was like, man, I'm just up there staring at the refrigerator. Yeah, I'm like, this saying, ain't even fun. Yeah, it won't go away. Feeling, feeling stupid up there. <laughs> I don't condone anybody, like, getting high, but yeah, no. as far as using the the medical benefits from it, man, it, yeah. it really works. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. If I can get myself around, because I'm still on the devil's lettuce right now, mm-hmm, yeah. um, but if I get myself around there, I will say, uh, I've tried the Delta 8, and for me, I have realized from using vapes, Delta 8, different things, it's mm-hmm. more so about that that habit of smoking. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, it ain't really what you smoke. It's just like I see myself smoking, and it's a, it, it you know, hits your stress, mm-hmm. all this stuff. So now I realize, like, that's my problem. Yeah, so uh, shout out my boy Mike and Hunter from God Healing, man. They uh, they came over and, man, did a podcast playing all of it. Yeah. Talking about they, they the laid benefits it, of, like. The benefits of it. What Delta Eight actually is, mm. and that's, uh, that's basically how they explained it was when I guess I guess when marijuana became legal in certain states, mm-hmm. they passed the National Farm Bill in twenty fourteen. Uh, Delta Eight basically weed has been sitting there for three years, so wow. it lost its potency. So right. basically, it's still <laughs> it's still yeah. it's still marijuana. Yeah. So it's not as strong as something that. But you yeah, still get all those. The benefits. From yeah, it. that's pretty cool. That's pretty Because I wonder, you know what? It's just like the vapes. When the vapes came out, before they st- had these like little uh, disposables, yeah. before they had those, vapes came out. And keep this in mind, everybody mm-hmm. watching. They were the only thing in the market that didn't pass the FDA. Yeah. Didn't have to go to FDA. So we didn't even know what we were putting in our like bodies. the nicotine vape? Or we just, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like, well, it's not the cigarette. Yeah, it's exactly. vape. Like people are like you can't smoke in here. Well, I'm not smoking. Yeah, it's this vape. Is vape. <laughs> right, and it's like then oh, now it's no vaping. Exactly, yeah. and so that's why I say because like the Delta mm-hmm. Eight, and luckily you have all these people that did the right research, the right you know you got the right people behind it, yeah, the right niche. So it's like now you got people educating. Like you said, they told all about it. You know how many people watch that podcast alone? Yeah. It's, right now it's probably the highest one. Good. At least the highest listening to one. Good, yes. Because, I mean, oh, I forgot. See, podcasts, I'm still new to it, yeah. you know? So I forgot. A lot of people can tune in just audio, right? hmm Okay. So this is a learning thing for anybody. I'm going to let y'all know, man, because mm-hmm. this man inspires me. When I see this <laughs> stuff on my time feed, Facebook, anything, I'm like, dang, that's Micah doing this. And it just inspires people. I mean, I'm 25, and I'm going to let you know. Press record. Yeah. Because this right here alone, you know, I'm trying to get like you. What do you say? I'm trying to get it good to be you, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like this right here, man. It's like I've seen, especially for young people right now, the biggest thing for entrepreneurs have been press and record mm-hmm. from TikTok. Trial and, trial and error. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But a lot of now people video, just seeing this. The video editing part is uh, something else. Let's talk a little about that. <laughs> no. you, you, got, you got a man right no, here. It's, it's, <laughs> let me tell you, I don't like it at all. Yeah. I'm, I I would almost hire somebody to do it. I was me. just going <laughs> to ask you: Would you suggest hiring somebody if you, you know, see their work first? It depends. I if I had the money to, mm-hmm. you know, right now that's kind of just a hobby. Yeah. Well, it's going to pay for itself though. I, I but too, man, I probably don't need as many camera angles as I got either. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I like. It, I'm though. still trying to figure it out. Yeah, I like it. It's new. I, y'all can't see from these angles, but this man has a crazy guitar. I want that guitar. <laughs> hand, like, hand signed. Um, mm. I got to get a replica. Yeah. But I think you did a great job. Man, I actually, after I finished that one over there, I was on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I was like, nah, I know somebody got a trash one for like 15 bucks somewhere. Exactly. Repaint. What'd you paint the um, base with? Like Just with like keels, like white paint. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I went took it outside spray paint. Right. Just had a good ball with on it. On Delta man. 8. I was like, Mom, I'm about to spray paint this guitar on white. Delta 8 hit a little bit. My different. wife's like, what are you doing? I was like, just go back inside. I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> Has she ever tried it? Uh-uh. Oh, uh, were you scared know. to give it to her? Or no, she she's like, like nope. Yeah. Mm-mm. Anything that alters your mind, a lot of people, if they don't, you know, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. It's like for me, I don't know. It's funny because seeing Mark even do this, um, it inspired me a lot. It just made me think, like, dang it, Mark of all people. I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. I know he's going to come over here for me. Yep. Exactly, and this is something you yeah. got to think. You brought me out of <laughs> out of my shell too, because I'm like I usually don't even. Pop I was like, out. man. So, recap a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mark Gotti, he was over here. Shout out you know, Gotti, man, six one five. Him, are, they're friends. So I met you through him. Yep. And uh, it just just trying to get him him over here. I was gonna get you over here first. Yeah. You know, because I was like, ah, oh, he's busy. He's he's at the barber shop. We work different schedules. A thousand curveballs. And then I hit him up, and he was like, oh yeah, I can come over here Thursday, ten a.m. I was like, that early, bro? Yeah. All right. Like you're trying to get it in. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm, it's about my nap time by then because I've been up since like five. <laughs> you be talking like you so old, <laughs> man, but you you good. You I had well, I had literally got off work five a.m. Oh he's yeah. Supposed to be here at ten, and I'm just over here. Man, Speaking I gotta go work. run to this. I gotta go to my. A little men's meeting. I gotta go to chiropractor. I don't know when I'm gonna eat in between ten. Man. It'll be my nap time. I don't know. I mean, and for you to be doing this, let me tell y'all, viewers, supporters, everybody that's supporting my God, the OG right here, he is saving lives. So what is it called? An EMT? Yeah. An EMT. You are an EMT. Yeah. And you spend I'm an advanced, advanced. emergency medical technician. Wow. And I'm college educated. <laughs> Over credits. 10 years running, right? I got credits. Man. No, yeah, about 14 years. And so here we are. We were just talking today, y'all, about like how Don't this man needs to. tell nobody, Y'all going to mess up my rep, bro. Yeah, we've we, been working hard on this reputation. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. But I'm going to let you know right now. <laughs> it's crazy. That's why I say you're a man with many mysteries. Because who would think that you would be out there doing that and still make the time for this? Because mm-hmm. as we all know, any creator is like, man, it takes a lot. Even you know just to push yourself to get up and press record. It's like I had took off. It's been several years. I went to go see my dad up in Illinois. You know, man, we had been there for like 16 days. Man. In Illinois? Yeah. And my dad, my dad, because we were just up there. Oh, vacation. that's where your family from? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was okay. up there seeing my dad. My yeah. kids was seeing their grandpa and their aunt and stuff. And uh, my dad looks at me. He goes, tell me, son, like, literally, you don't have a job, do you? <laughs> I said, well, technically, I don't have to be back at work for like three more days. Mm. He's like, so when are you leaving? I'm like, I don't know you. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's just looking at me. I'm like, well, I have a job. Just, yeah. That's a. So um, wait, how does it work? Do you once you get certified and all this, right? Mm-hmm. Say I'm just now getting into the job. Do they schedule you and you're like on mm-hmm. this call or? Yeah, well, you pick a schedule to work. Mm. I end up working like 72 hours straight. So I work three days on, four days off. I hope y'all hear that. Y'all so when I take that. off a week, I got 11 days off. 11? Yeah. What? So when I Paid days? Or like you already made enough? Yeah, well, I, I work three days. So when I take those Man, three yeah. days off, Yeah. I'm off for 11. 11. Mm. So if I have to take two weeks off, that's 25. Mm. No, I ain't 25. I can't what is it? Oh, wait, 22. No, it'd we be know, like 18. Cut that. No. It'd be like 18. <laughs> yeah. I usually go, you know, like three weeks. Sometimes I need a vacation from my vacation. Man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> That's my that's my hardest part. So far, even at 25, <clears throat> I'm not one of those dudes that sit and play 2K or nothing. So I'm always working, like even when I get home. So it's like my biggest thing is having a shutoff switch. I don't know how to do it. I, I work all day process. You know the mind process is what, 30,000 thoughts, whatever, odd thoughts a day. But like for me, I don't have an off switch. I get home and I'm still like work, work. What can I do? What can I do? And I feel like it's because I haven't reached a point of financial freedom. Yeah. You know, we ain't going to talk about that. Yeah. But, you know, it's just like when you get there, I feel like money doesn't change anything. And mm-hmm. not even to the idea of buying comfort. Comfort mm-hmm. is in the mind. Yeah. And I'm seeing that. Because yeah. it's like I can choose to get home and think about these things. It's called, the old heads call it keeping up with the Joneses. Exactly. <laughs> I don't really even. You sh- got to, oh, they got this. They got this. Yeah, that's a perception thing. You know, I don't, I don't have the nicest car. 
but that thing paid off. Right. That's one less stress. You ain't got nobody calling you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ain't nobody going to try to come take it from me. Yep. Looking out the window after tax season. Yeah, if I, lo- if I lose my job, guess what? I can still go wherever I want to. Yep, still be in your house. <clears throat> but some people like nice things. Now yeah. now that thing's going to cost me five six $600 when something go wrong with it. Right. But. I don't have to pay five six hundred dollars a month. A month for. or every two weeks mm-hmm. in most of these young people cases now. I say yeah. young people, but you know, yeah, I'm just not the average millennial. But you know, it's just I like, just need to get me back and forth to work. Yeah, to the I grocery mean, store. <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> so that's the thing. Okay, as life as because really schooled me right now because this is my thing. So I'm in where I'm in a situation where me and my girl just now recently got a new place together, mm-hmm. and we had took some time where we weren't living together. I was staying at my dad's to save money. She had her own living situation. So it's like when you get into this, because right now we're doing a detox where we cook a lot, yeah. you know, and a lot of the stuff right now we can't even eat food until, you know, a 16-hour fast is complete every day. Yeah. But think about this. I want to I wanna ask, with you and your wife, because y'all been together for a grip since I was a kid, mm-hmm. how, how often do y'all still do things like that? Like, is that a thing? Do we, cause as a man, we feel like we need to do all these things that validates us or else, you know, our woman going to be this or that. It's like, do you feel? Yeah, we take time. Yeah. You still like, like go to dinners and yeah. things like that. Once, okay. Once a week. Like, I'll be scared. I'm going to be boring for my girl. <laughs> so I'm like, man. Hey, no. Hey, you want to watch this new movie? Mm. Hey, there's a couple episodes of this show. Just putting her up on game of uh, things. We'll sit there and be sleep on the couch. Mm. <laughs> yeah, true. That's you bonding. Know, <laughs> you know, we'll get up, go to the gym together or whatever, go mm. out to eat together. Sometimes we take the kids. Sometimes we're like, man, they on their own. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <Feel that. laughs> but you always got to make time. See, a lot of people, well, like your yeah, friends, man, you, you, you take – your main priority right now is taking care of That's your little it. one. That's it. Well, my kids are they half grown. Yep. You know. Yep. It's getting to that point where you can kind of kick it while doing it. Yeah. You know. Well, like you're 25. Tristan's 21. He'll be 22. Man. I didn't even know. You know, Maya's 18. <laughs> Chloe's 12. The one that used to run around in the diapers. Yeah. She's 12. Wow. You know, so. Wow. And me and the wife want to go to the. Go out to eat. Y'all good. They ain't got to come. Yeah, y'all good. <laughs> See, I don't have that luxury just yet, you know, but I will say. You can't just leave her. <laughs> no, leave her, her with the iPad and be like, hey, we'll be back in an hour and a half. Yeah, hey, you know what? <laughs> She's so advanced. I wouldn't try it. <laughs> you know, anybody listening, don't do this at home. Don't leave your kids with him. But she is smart. She yeah. is really there. But I think that at that stage, what I fear is like she going to get to wonder. But I tell you this, though, you – you did it smart. Mm-hmm. Think so. Kind of the way we did it. Mm-hmm. We had kids when we was young. Yeah. So when you're trying to find out who you are yeah. and what you want to be in life, we're raising kids. Right. You know, I got I got other friends. They didn't have no kids. They was out partying. And, Till you're and 30, and 35, still able to do it. <laughs> well, now, hey, let's go do this together as a couple. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can't. We don't got no babysitter. Mm. You know, because they got a little one. Yeah, exactly. And I'm over here like, if they would have asked, I could have got one of my kids to babysit, but they didn't ask, so I ain't saying nothing. So you got the secret <laughs> they gonna have to learn. have them now, early. <laughs> and then now that I'm 40 years old and I know mm-hmm. what I want to be in life and I know what I want to do and I know the things that I want to have. Right. You can do that. I can do those. Right, exactly. And, you know, even if you was going to start a business, Mm-hmm. I got a son in there. I got a daughter in there to help do whatever. Yeah, now right. it's a family business. Right. You know, but, <laughs> but you know, it, it's part, it's all about like, uh, Chloe had broke her leg a couple, a month or so ago. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the doctor, she's 40. And, uh, she's got like, I think she says she had like a, four-year-old and a three-year-old right and i was just like i wouldn't know what to do the doctor yeah mm. you know she's the same age as me right she's like oh, i was a thought four-year-old I, and a three-year-old yeah and i was like i don't even know she had them she had a wild little two yeah years. but you know she's married so yeah but i was like man i don't i don't know what i'd do with a four-year-old and three-year-old now no She's like, I started young. I was like, you didn't start young. Yeah, no. You just spent 10 years in college being a doctor. Right, exactly. Your kid's going to be straight. Man, forever. You know. If she do right. You know what I mean? So. I'm going to let you know, though. It's all about how you look at things. Honestly, 
that's the weird in between thing right now. It's like, do you wait until you get older? There are pros and cons to it because I see it as like, well, then you could provide. Mm -hmm. You got time to be a parent. You yeah. know? But at the same time, there's a big detachment there mm -hmm. from when they get their consciousness and they like, hold up. You know, they feel like, oh, they stupid, they're old, they blah, blah, blah. You know, especially in the microwave generation. Mm -hmm. You got kids now, 12 mm -hmm. years old, doing what we weren't doing until we got 18, yeah. 15, you know. And um, so that's the thing, because then for younger parents, we got our kids right now. I, my niece, she's four with a phone. Yeah. You know, a phone, able to make phone calls. And, um, and you got, like, you got parents that got their kids doing, literally, like, have you seen the rappers that their kids are, like, with them in the studio yeah. while they... I'm like, what in the world? So, oh, Euphoria. Have you heard of that show? Yeah. Okay. I audience. haven't watched it, though. You haven't watched it? Mm -mm. Okay, so I only made it through like half an episode so far. I'm definitely going to cut it on when I get home. But so far, I am just baffled. Oh, I got Z Zendaya. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and to be honest. Spider-Man girlfriend. Yeah. Her. <laughs> Petey Parker. <laughs> yeah. His little hand. <laughs> Man, but to be honest with you, it is very surprising how open that show is. Yeah, SEX drugs everything, and and when I say high school, I'm like, wait a second, a freshman is 15 years old, four, yeah. 14 and 15. So to mesh this type of audience, a 14, 15 year old audience with adults that the seniors that may be graduating, moving on to college, which are already active and doing all these things, yeah, it's kind of wild. Yeah, I cannot imagine Tegan being 10, 12 years old watching that show. That that is one thing I will say. So anybody, if you're a director, producer of that show, no beef <laughs> over here, man. I love you for what you do. We support you. But God, man, I need some answers. Y'all drop it in the comments on YouTube and IG, Facebook, anywhere we put this video. Drop it in the comments what you think about that show. Because right now they're trending. That's the thing. It's like one of the most watched shows in the nation right now. Well, it's got season two, right? Yeah. So yeah. I didn't even know. I didn't. It's crazy. And honestly, it's teaching a lot, too, because I feel like one thing I'll say, I guess for me, because, you know, our generations yeah. is a gap. But for me and my generation, one thing that blew our minds was our Disney Channel people. They yeah. don't have that now. But the Disney Channel people going from like this innocent person to what we see mm. now, yeah. that blew our minds. Yeah. So maybe they are, by making things faster and more open, taking mm. away that. They have, they have me questioning everything that my 12 year olds doing. Man, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy because you just never know. Like, it, I thought of a four year old having a phone. Well, a lot of it with the kid have you can you can access anything on your phone. Mm -hmm. And so a four year old could click on something. It's the wrong something that they shouldn't be clicking on. Exactly. They and could Google something. Yep. And something pop up. And. Mm. And never unsee it. Yeah, never unsee it. That's the biggest thing is there's no filter in reality. <laughs> <laughs> Our pauses, y'all, is simply because my daughter is here and she is so funny. She wants to be that uh, face. I was like, man, pull up a mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what it is. She wants to be YouTube famous or something so bad. But um, you know, as we as we were just talking about, I'm gonna be honest. I have thought about that so many times. I want to be that parent that's pushing her child, putting her in gymnastics, mm -hmm. YouTube, all these things. Mm -hmm. But with, I feel like quarantine, you know, the hit of quarantine and yeah. rebuilding, starting 10 gurus after that, yeah. like, man, it, it's crazy. You don't really find the time to do those things. It's yeah. more like what you see on the Tyler Perry movie comp compared to your real reality. Yeah. You know, you get you get in. Think about it. I'm working Mainly, um, I tent cars, by the way, y'all. Shout out Tent Gurus. You know, th it's a company I started with my brother. We trying to provide for the city. We provide for half of Music City, man. But, y'all, it's a hard job. So, yeah. after 10 hours of that, I want to get home to my baby and record a video. Yeah. But it's like, she's got all this energy. Hey, Dad, let's do it. Let's do it. And hey, welcome to my show. And by then, I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can barely hold the camera. Yeah. So, it's like, man, it really is. It's hard to find a balance. I see my kids try to make little videos, and I'm just over here like, you could have done better than that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kids would be like, watch this, and just jump up. And that. Hey, the next time you Snapchat your friend, help me, can you pick, pick your dirty clothes up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. Did you know your, your dirty your dirty little underwear was over here in the corner? Like, I seen it. Yeah. I didn't even know what you said. So, so you know they seen it. <laughs> 
That's you wonder why thing. you got picked on at school the next day. Right. Literally. You know, said Snapchat, though. Your friend was your dirty underwear on the floor. To be honest, <laughs> anything now that's viral could be a good thing. Yeah. You never know. Because stuff be viral, man. I will say, let me ask you this. Um, Because I didn't prepare any questions. I'm just a guy. Obviously, I go off the top of my head. So you're going to ask the host questions. Yeah. I'm supposed I'm to ask, ask you the questions. Okay. Today. Okay. Shoot one at me. What's a good question that you got? Because <laughs> I'm going to let you know. I got some answers for you. Huh? I got some answers for you. You got a question. I got some answers for you. So, I don't know. I ain't got no question. <laughs> I was just messing with you. So, I want to know. So, what is what would you say is something you want to bring on to bring some more awareness to when it comes to having this platform? You know. So, when I first when I first started the podcast, you know, the main goal was everybody's got a story. And people need to hear it. Right, right. You know. And me being, all the, you know, me being a Christian and believing in God and fighting God and, you know, running from him most of my life. Right. Most of the time people, I want to I wanna hear your story and I'm waiting for them to point out where God was at. Right. You know, a lot Ooh. of people. A lot of people will say it was it's luck and a coincidence, and it's like, <laughs> no, nah, that's no. that's God. Yeah, you you keep denying it. Yeah, how many to. coincidences until you open yeah. it up and say, man, wait, I didn't have control. Yeah, that's the one thing I have realized that. At, at, that's what I would love to talk about that. Yeah. I, I love God. You know, what I mean? will say, yeah, that, that was the main goal. I was like, I ain't, I. Ain't, if you don't bring it up, you don't bring it up. Yeah. yeah. You know, but I want to hear that story, and it's like, all right. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, opens your you eyes. Can call it, you can call it luck if you want to, mm-hmm. but, yeah, it's God. I believe in fate. I believe in God. But luck ain't a thing. Yeah. You know, odds are a thing. Yeah. What are the odds, the what ifs, but, no, nah, man. You know, everything ha- You know, everything happens for a reason. You're always in the right place. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, <laughs> and it's hard to say. Sometimes, sometimes God says no. Oh, absolutely. But sometimes God says no because it's something you didn't. You was you was dreaming too small. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, say that again because <laughs> that's one of my problems right you there. Was dreaming too small. That's one of my problems you know? right there. Is the times that like you mad you mad at God because you didn't get this job that you prayed for. Mm-hmm. You mad at God because. Your car broke down, but you don't realize there was a nicer car. Yeah. There was a better job. Or a car that was more suitable for you. Or, you know, oh, I wanted this promotion at work. Mm-hmm. You don't realize that promotion, that's the next escape goat. Yeah. You got to watch. You got to pay attention sometimes. Right. Like, hey, man, you want to be supervisor at work? No. The last eight supervisors have all quit or got fired. Right. I'm good. Right. <laughs> I make more money than they they do anyway, so I'm yeah. good. Now it'd be nice to sit it on my butt or whatever, but yeah. nah, I'm good. Yeah, and I'm gonna get out here and tie my boots like everybody else. I feel that. And what would you say, like, because for me, I, I've had, I know I came up really weak in faith, like being forced into a church home. I don't know how many people have spoke on that. I haven't seen many people speak on it, but I was forced into a church environment, forced into. Well, um, also, also too, you you got a. You got to move, you know, you got to have faith, but I don't know exactly how it goes. You know, faith without works is dead. Like mm-hmm. you got to move. Like I'm like, like literally this studio, I feel like the field of dreams. Yeah. yeah if they will, if, like. if they will build it, if you build it, they will come. Right. Absolutely. Okay, man, I'm spending, I'm, I'm spending my money. I'm a free time. I'm down here. I'm down here grinding. Right. right? After a 72 hour right? shift. Nobody's mm-hmm. coming. Mm. And you just keep like, going. like, like, what's the deal, God? Like, I'm, 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 I'm building the ark. There ain't no rain and nobody coming, right? Right. And I'm, I'm trying to compare it to you know the movie Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. Oh, you mean I gotta like actually like call people and invite yeah. them to come? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my fault. My bad. Yep. Like I thought they were just gonna knock on the door. Hey, right. I'm ready for a podcast. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I'm busy watching. Watching the show with my wife right now. No, I'm busy <laughs> doing absolutely nothing is what most people say. 
you know, they'll you know. come up with something, but it's like, it's when you, that's one thing you could talk all day and yeah. people will be like, man, oh, yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. But look how it, this is my first episode. I was supposed to be an episode three weeks ago yeah. and life really was smacking me in the back of the head. So just imagine people that just say it is, or even just don't say nothing at all. Yeah. Well, you know, I got this and that to do. Well, you just don't want to talk. Yeah. You don't want to be seen something. Yeah. But I wanted to to touch on that. I want to tell you about that because a story, I never really get in a position where I tell my story and I'm not going to get too deep into it, but God, talking Mm. about God is is one big thing for me because as young, like especially being a young black dude in Nashville right now, the moment you bring up anything that ain't what is expected of you, you're less of this, less of that. You're not tough enough, all this stuff. I like talking about God. A lot of us need to talk about God. Even my brother that was here, he would love to talk about God because that's that's why we're here. We we are God, you know, mm-hmm. and a piece of us. But I will say, I grew up very weak in faith, and it took real God, mm-hmm. like God, not the thought of it. It took God to bring me out of that pool and save my life and do things where when I realized it's when you finally don't have control mm-hmm. that God steps mm-hmm. in, and it's when you erase those beliefs that you had prior of like, well, you know what? I'm you kind of realize you're a hole and you're eager, you're narcissistic. Yeah. And then when you let that stuff go, God is right there saying, "All right, I've been right here waiting on you." Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I actually been steering you while you while yeah. you make those mistakes. I've been making it a little easier, <laughs> making the consequences a little, little less hard. I laugh sometimes. I'm like, man, I ain't believing this. Yep. It's kind of like, oh, there's a. You know, sometimes it's like, man, I've been trying to do it this way. God's been saving you this whole time. And finally, sometimes God's like, okay, I'm going to let him hit his head this time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I done told you. After enough stumbling, you might fall. <laughs> yeah. Right. I ain't going to catch you this time. You're about to scrape your knee up. And you're going to lim- be limping around going, okay, yeah, I probably yeah. should have done that. Yeah, I should have listened this time. But that's part of it. Too. Sometimes you just got to. You know, you got to follow your heart. Mm-hmm. You know, like I was sitting here, you know, man, the devil's, devil's messing with me. The devil's messing with me, my mind's messing with me, whatever, however you want to put it. Right. About, like, before this came about. Yeah, well, in the middle of it. Oh, okay. And Because uh, I know it's expensive. In the middle of it. And, you know, everybody's like, well, if, if, since this is what you're supposed to do, the devil's trying to stop it. Right, right. And I'm like, man, whatever. It don't matter if the devil's trying to stop or God's trying to help it move. I can't edit this video. <laughs> it's not right. working. Right. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't User know what's wrong. error or a mixture of it all? Man, <laughs> let me tell you, I had these different mic stands up. And I was like, man, I'm about to tear this whole studio down. I'm talking about I came over here to wear everything down and put it back in the box. Really? Put it back in the box. Put it over in the corner. Wow. All the voices in my head stopped. But I could cl- I could hear the right voice now. Yeah. Because the right voice knew I was finna put these new table stand mics up. Right. Great investment. But all they seen was the empty table. Mm. Like, you know, I had to get the clutter off the table. Like mm. you when you came in here, well, you know, I was editing videos, had to move stuff around. Yeah. It's hard to Vision everything when there's a bunch of stuff in the way. Absolutely. Let me just clear it out. Let Man, I got OCD anyway. I'm yeah. going to tell you. It's like I can have anything cluttery and still know exactly where it's at, but the clutter itself does something to me. <laughs> it's like I can't have it. A clear room. I do something weird. I ain't even going to lie. I got one thing that, that helps me a lot. I will lock myself in the bathroom in a heartbeat and use it as like a little closet effect. Because yeah. most people, when you're like in a outside, like they go outside to think freely. Mm-hmm. Me personally, when I'm inside, when I'm in a box, it's when my mind just wanna breaks out of it and it thinks the most craziest thoughts. So I oftentimes I lock myself in the bathroom to do work, record music, do all types of stuff. I think I seen somebody yeah. rapping on one of your podcasts. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I seen one of your friends rapping the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was going I got, crazy. I got a couple of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta see, tune in some more. See, stop. Man, he's probably one of the most talented people like that yeah and he'll just stop mm. and i'm like what are you doing <laughs> like he'll be like it's just not what i'm gonna do right now and he'll go do something else wow and he came over here on the podcast and i was like man you need to get back in music yeah and he's like man i ain't 
no, nah, man, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, he's my age. He's like, I'm 40. And I don't know. What that mean? Well, then he came over and did a podcast. I was like, man, I'm going to try to throw a curveball at him, right? And yeah. uh, <laughs> he just busted up and started rapping right there. What up? There he is right there. What's good with it, man? What up? What up? <laughs> That's yeah, how easy uh, it can be inspiring, bro. So we can probably end this one and start another one. Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, man, we're going to tune in. We got some special guests that's popped up, man. We're going to reload and come back. Yeah, appreciate y'all rocking with us, man.